In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to simplify a radical. Uh, remember that a radical is a, I guess probably the best way to think about it, is it's the uh, opposite operation of something that has been raised to an exponent. So how do you change, for example, exponents to radical notation and radical notations back to exponential notations? And there's a simple identity that you should learn. It looks like this. Let's pretend I have a, a, a an exponent of some kind and I'll just do this. We'll make it a fraction because any number can be expressed as a fraction. Even a whole number can be expressed as a fraction. So let's say I have some number to uh, let's say the fourth power or something like that. And I want to change it to the radical notation. The exponent is in the numerator, and the index is the denominator. So if I were to compare this to this up here, I would have x. Oh, sorry about that. What I would have, if I wanted to change this to the exponent notation, I would say a to the 2 over 3. I would say b to the 3 over 3, and I would say c to the 4 over 3. So essentially what I've done is I've taken the radical notation, we call that by step 1, and using this identity, I've switched the radical notation to the exponential notation. Again, remember, it's the base to the exponent over the index, 2 over 3, b to the exponent over index, 3 over 3, base c to the exponent over the index. Now at this point, it gets kind of interesting because what I'm looking for are fractions in the exponent that are greater than 1 and less than 1. <coughs> now in this case, I've got a fractional exponent that is less than than 1. In this case it becomes b to the first and this one becomes c to the 1 and 1 third. I want to break this one up. I'm going to use the laws of exponents to say c to the first times c to the 1 third. Remember the laws of exponents says that whenever you have a base that's the same you can add the exponents. Whenever you're multiplying two numbers where the bases are the same, you add the exponents. So I'm just kind of reversing that. Let me bring these guys down just for the effect. All right, so in this step, I've got a to the two-thirds, b to the fourth, c to the first, uh, b to the first, c to the first, c to the one-third. Any base that has a whole numbered exponent gets to go outside the radical. These guys have the same index because remember the denominator is the index and then these numbers are the exponents. So I'm going to say a to the second, c to the first. What essentially I've done here then is to take this initial radical problem and I have simplified it and changed it to uh, numbers that go outside the radical and numbers that still remain inside the radical by using this identity. And then I've also used the laws of exponents to simplify my answer. I hope this helps. We'll try some more later on.